Good afternoon everyone, it's Maria here. Okay, today's project is this cute little card. I made this punch art yesterday, the Grinch. Um, I know it doesn't look like the Grinch, but that's sort of the idea behind the punch art. And um, I wanted to make something fun for the holidays, especially since I'm going to be going home with my family and uh, I'm going to see my son. So I want to make something um, kind of funny and whimsical for our family back home. So I thought about making this um, Grinch Pills card. This is the punch art that I um, created yesterday. And that's just from um, Extra Large Oval Punch. Just a couple of them. And this is the Scallop Large Punch. And then this is like a little pom-pom that you can get from the craft store. So if you guys want to see how I made this punch art, then please send me a message below and I will be glad to do a tutorial for you. But today's project is this card. And once again, this is called the Grinch Pills card. And this opens up this way. And this is what the front looks like. And this is what the inside looks like. and it's really fun and there's tic tacs over here it's probably better if you have green tic tacs but i can't find green tic tacs right now so i'm making it with white so if you're interested to see how i made this card then please keep watching okay so the first thing that we will need is, is our basic card i chose whisper white and then the board that, that will go around it is this um, cherry cobbler cardstock which is like really deep red and it's really cheerful and all Christmassy. And then this designer series paper is from Stampin' Up! But you can um, use any paper that you have in stock. You don't have to use Stampin' Up! But if you're interested to see um, where this came from, it comes with this pack of paper. You get 48 sheets of double-sided paper and you can create a lot of cards and this is only like $6.95 I think and you get 48 sheets so and it's high quality so that's what we're going to use today okay, so in order to create this container right here well not create but um, in order to put the tic tacs we need this little container here called the sweet treat cups Stampin' Up! sells these little cups and it comes in a pack of 12 and it's like $4.95 I think and uh, there's 12 pieces around there and it already has the adhesive on the side and all you have to do is um, stick it to your cardstock so we will need that one of those and then we will need our tic tac again if you have if you can get a hold of green tic tacs that's so much better because you know the Grinch is green so let's get started this basic um, card is going to open this way so all we have to do is adhere our card so I will be doing this first we are just going to adhere the cherry cobbler we're not going to adhere the designer series paper yet because we are going to um, put our sweet treat cup right here. So the idea is to use a one and a one and three quarter sponge. This is also from Stampin' Up. And um, this actually is the perfect size for our sweet treat cup. So just open that. We just need to determine, I already have this punch art that I made yesterday. So we just need to determine where um, the treat cup is going to go. So if we put it in the middle of the card, I will angle this one, I think. So we can put our sweet treat cups right there. Either that or I can make him straight. I think I'm going to make him straight. So I'm going to put my sweet treat cups over here. So I guess that's where I should be punching. And 
so that just goes like this. Okay, so now all we have to do before we adhere that card stock, we're just going to put our little tic tac. I used the whole thing. This is actually one of the smaller Tic Tacs that you can find in the market. So all you have to do is take off the backing. I have this um, pick-me-up stick here that helps me with my crafting these days. And we're just going to take out the backing for this because it's very sticky. Just gonna peel it off. We're just going to put that. And we need to cover this with another cardstock just to secure it to see so when it flips you don't see any anything in there and it actually holds the candy. So now all we have to do is put enough adhesive there. I'm going to use Stombo because this is really good for, um, it gives you some wiggle room before it adheres permanently. So we're going to use Stombo now. I'm going to put a lot over here and over here. And I am also going to put some there so that it will stick properly to our card. So all you have to do now is just make sure that it's there. I'm gonna flip this, you're gonna get all a lot of glue in you or on you. It's more like it. And we're just going to stick that to our card. We're using um, Tombow because we have some wiggle room there until it sticks permanently. And don't worry about the extra glue right now that you can see on the side because it will actually be um, adhered there properly and it will dry clear. And so for our little Grinch over here, we just need some Stampin' Dimensionals to prop him up. And again, if you want to see the tutorial for how I made this um, punch art, please leave a comment below and I will be glad to um, make a video of how I created this punch art. And you may want to do some Christmas projects with your kids and the Grinch is certainly a very cute project to do with your kids. This is so cute to give to adults, you know, your office mates for a Christmas party. I'm actually going to give this card to my brother-in-law because it's a bit grouchy sometimes. We always joke about him being grouchy, so, but he has a huge, he has a great sense of humor, so it's not like he's going to get offended by this. And then I already pre-cut my red ribbon, so all we need to do is adhere that with a glue dot. We are using mini glue dot for this. So we just get one. And we just put our little ribbon over there to make it look like it's an ornament or something. Just on top. And then of course we need our little rhinestone just to give it some bling. It's the holiday. Holiday should be full of bling. We just put it on top of our bow. And that's the front of our card. And then on the inside, we will need to adhere another card stock. I'm just going to get my 
glue gun over here and not glue gun but ATG gun. What am I thinking today? Jesus. I've just been making a lot of projects lately. That's why I'm, I'm a bit um, distracted. So we will just adhere that to the inside of the card, like so. And then this is our sentiment. Feeling kind of grouchy, holiday spirit can't be found. Just try these little Grinch pills. They're the best medicine around. Whether eating a whole handful or munching one or two, these tasty little pills take the Grinch out of you. So, so not a cute sentiment. We're just going to adhere that on the inside of the card. Also with our ATG or any adhesive that you have. It doesn't have to be ATG. This is just my, I like using it because it's huge. It has a lot of tape. I don't have to keep changing. And this, just make sure this is right in the middle of your card, like so. And then of course, it just needs a little bit more so I figured we can just um, put like a little bit of decoration there just to make it look more fest festive. So we're just going to adhere our little holly. We're going to use our for these tiny little pieces it's always best to have this quick stick because it picks up little things like that and you don't have to worry about losing them so you just need to put your glue in there I can't find my oh there it is the stick okay so we're gonna pick up pick this up like so you can see that put some glue in there And just stick it to your project like so and get your other stick and push it down there stick to the other one you can also put your glue in there just make sure that put it down See tiny little pieces like those, it's very difficult to hold on to. And there's your hilarious card for Christmas. Wouldn't this be fun to give to an office maid, a co-teacher, co-worker? Because it's so funny. So, so once again, if you want to see a tutorial on how I made this little Grinch, then just please send me a message and I will be glad to post a video for this. So we will do another project that also is the same, but um, we're going to make a box instead of a card. If you don't want to give a card, then we can always make a box. So that's the next um, project that we're going to do. But this is our card today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you on my next project. Bye for now.